London, here I come. London, here I come. London, 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 London Bridge, London Bridge is falling down. That's kind of strange, but I've seen it before. He didn't play C3, he castled right away. That's quite strange. If you can, if you can go here to G five, um, I mean, I take and the knight takes. If I take and he takes on, he takes on h5. Oh, then it's mate. Then it's mate. I've actually had this before. And I actually got that checkmate in. <laughs> I had that once, once before I had that. But it won't happen on classical. I think that was a blitz game or something. So if he goes to e5, oh, okay. Um, I forget, I mean, you can take and you can also not take. Um, they're both fine. I might play d6 here. Um, I don't think there's a difference that he has a knight here. So let's just play d6. Hello, bouncing across. How's it going? What's up? How's it bouncing? <sighs> How shall we proceed? How shall we proceed? 
final. Final for what? Final for what? I guess I need to play a5. But then this can be annoying. Um, I guess I could play c6. No, I can't play c6. So that's that's a good move, you know, because as I say, this is annoying. Algorithms and intractable pro sounds difficult. So I don't even understand the subject. Yeah, so how do I deal with this? Do I allow it? Do I allow this? Maybe. Normally I, I used to play a5, but yeah, as I said, this is annoying. I guess I could then take and then play c6. Yeah, I'm going to go for that. So bishop b5, knight takes f4, and then I'll play c6. Mm How old are you? 21? My hair is messy. Hello, Mr. Sabon. What did he do? C3? 20. Young lad. I'm... I'm double your age. Isn't that scary? That's scary. You could be my son or daughter. Mr. Sabon could be your grandpa. That's eh. okay. Let's focus here. Let's focus here. Um, I think I might go g6 just because I'm used to that setup. Although c5, maybe I shouldn't discount c5. I usually keep g6 for this battery, but um, what, what do you mean? You don't know how old I am. So, um, okay, so. If I go c5 right away, which, okay, well, actually, hang on. Is, is, is b4 a problem now? If my rook is on the a file and then b4, then it's not so bad because I get the open file for my rook. But if I go to rook c8 first and then b4, mm, I might just have to go back to the a file eventually. Um, yeah, I'm. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you got me. I guess that's why you're in algorithms and in, in intractable problems. You figured that out. Yeah, I'm not triple your age. <laughs> if I was, if I was sixty, I think I, I, I think I look pretty good for sixty. Okay, so yeah, so rook c eight. Maybe I don't want to play, but maybe I can play c five. No, because then then bishop b five again becomes annoying. So I guess I won't touch anything for now. And maybe I will just go with my g6 idea. Okay. But this is a unusual setup for white, so I'm not 100% certain what to do. My position probably looks so weird to white. But it's what I'm used to. Wow. 
maybe that's why I should have taken the bishop now, because that I totally overlooked that, and now I just look stupid. I might have to play f5 and go crazy to justify allowing this. Um, I might have to play f5. F5, E4, I guess, I guess I can take, I don't know how long I can hang on to that though. Like, ugh, I've got lots of weaknesses on the king side. I, where am I gonna go after that? Um, I totally messed that up. Yeah, I, uh, I, 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 I shouldn't have delayed taking it so long. Um, I'm actually wondering about Bishop F8 now. Bishop F8, I'm just admitting my mistake. And if he goes to G5, I can repeat. I'm going to do this. I have to admit my mistake. I admit it. I was wrong. I was wrong. I should have taken the bishop or castled. Yes. Yeah, g6 unprovoked. Didn't make sense there. Thanks for the follow, Jimu. Jimu. Yeah, g6 is definitely a mistake. I should have taken on f4 or castled. Yeah, I, I would be okay to repeat. Well, I'll lose a couple. I'll lose some points because he's lower rated. Um, or I could play f6 with tempo. Um, which I I may do. I I think I want to I want to fight for a win. Um, if he goes to h4, yeah, I think I'll keep pushing. I'm gonna try to play for a win. So let's let's play f6. Although I, you know, if my opponent was rated like, if he was higher rated than me, I would have I would repeat. I feel bloated, so bloated. I ate too much dinner tonight. I can't go here because he'll just take and ruin my night, literally. <laughs> so I could go bishop e7. Um, Or I could go knight g7 to go to this square. Uh, maybe I don't know how I don't know what, what what would I do about even just e4 immediately. I guess I could go here. Maybe it's it's uh, but then this knight is not great anymore. And then I see I could come in here in some cases too if he if he opens that up. So I don't think I want to move here on my own. On my own. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I eat McDonald's, a lot of McDonald's, a lot, a lot, a lot. You're young enough where it won't make a difference. 
Oh, my time's ticking. Yeah, so let, let's let's just. Uh, I mean, this was the idea of. Here, that creates holds galore. I don't know if I like that. But I also don't want to keep it here. I don't think so. Let's let's go back to e seven. Are you, where do you live? The U.S. of A? Do you live in the U.S. of A? Yeah, don't worry about that. Give it 10 years, you have no problem. Like, <laughs> oh, oh, that was weird. Okay, yeah, because cause I, was, I was skinny in high school. I don't have that problem anymore. Okay, so there. So uh, otherwise he goes to C4. Which is also a good square for him. Um, I, I don't know. About, yeah, I guess he could go there. And he still has this if I ever try to push. I guess I do have C6, but that's getting iffy. Uh, maybe I can't do this after all. Okay, yeah, this is getting ugly. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't believe I, I allowed... Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have played F6. I should have just made it for the draw. Hello, I love my B shop. No, I don't purchase... Oh, I've, I don't purchase opening courses. Um, okay. I, okay, I'm just going to minimize chat now because I do have to. Uh, I do have to focus, and I'm losing. <laughs> okay, so yeah, so I can't play g5 because just knight will grab it. Um, well, wait, but now his bishop maybe. Oh no, but it's check. Yeah, it's check. So I mean, there is castling, um, but I think it, I actually like this. I I really regret not casting or taking on f4 earlier. It's such a big regret. Um, I mean, the benefit of castling is that I can then threaten g5 because if knight takes, I, I take back. Um, but then my rook, I mean, I would rather the rook be on the h file. Um, I may just have to play it, though. It seems crappy, but okay. I don't know. I got to make a move have to make a move so g5 is my threat kind of a shallow threat um, he might even have e5 himself maybe not that's not super scary and uh, you know if he goes to g3 I will then take because I'm 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 slightly familiar with that structure. I would then play h5. Sooner or like sooner or later I would play it, but I'm not used to that with the pawn on f6 because normally like this diagonal open because the queen can often get in there. But it might be playable. I just I said it a million times, but I I completely regret not taking the bishop on f4 or casting earlier. I, I Allowing bishop h6 slowed me down. I lost like, I lost at least one tempo doing that. And the initiative. Could, well, did I have the initiative? No, it was probably neither of us did, but now white has it. Well, maybe not. Maybe white doesn't have it now, but I, I just think my move was an inaccuracy or a mistake, and it sucks. Yeah, and I don't like the pawn on f6. It doesn't, I mean, it seems like a necessary evil, but 
I mean, everything is blocked. And if I play F, if I play G5 as intended, um, I'm just further blocking my, my dark squares, which is not really what I want. It's not what I want at all. I want them as open as possible. But yeah, maybe I can, well, I don't know. That's so short lived though, G4. And then, and then G4, F5 eventually. It opens it up, but at a cost. I may have to tuck the, the king into H8 later and play something like rook G8. Where'd he go? Okay, he went bishop C4, hitting a weak point. Okay, and the rook is hitting this as well. So let's look at the most natural move first. Um, this may work. This uh, D5 may work because if he takes, I just take back. Um, hang on. Is that, yeah, yeah, I think that's okay. Um, if he pushes E5, I, I just take the bishop and I think I'm fine. And if he goes to B5, I go C6 with tempo. So I'm going to give this a push. Kind of a quick decision, but I'm down to five and a half minutes. He has twice as much time as I do, so I got to play quicker. Got to play a lot quicker. So if Bishop D3, um, first of all, I'm, well, Knight F4, I guess he just goes back to like C2. He took, okay, Can, I thought he couldn't do that. So let's see what I'm missing. I could easily be missing something. Is he gonna to go to d3 now? Yeah, maybe those open lines benefit him. And yeah, my bishop looks stupid now. Do you have C5? I'm going to abandon G5 here because it kills my dark squares. I mean, it doesn't, I mean, I guess I should say that, that I just create like an incredibly bad queen and bishop when I do that. F5 is interesting, threatening his bishop. Um, but then, that's right, no, F5, I lose my bishop. So it's interesting because it's bad. So F5 is completely out. Probably C5 will be my move. Yeah. And I just have to kind of trust, I kind of just have to trust things here and play F5. Still, my position is very awkward. I've got two bad bishops. <laughs> Can't believe I misplayed that with allowing him to play bishop h6. So if he takes, how should I recapture? Probably, well, I was gonna say probably with the bishop, um, but if I take with the knight, I do take with tempo. It's just that my bishop is kind of awkwardly placed right now. It does cut, help cover f6, or yeah, f6, but it's kind of in this avenue that I, you know, in the cross section here. And this, you know, it, it, it later on this might be useful, but um, again, taking with the knight allows me to move with tempo. He, he, uh, no, he probably will do that. So let's say he goes bishop c2. Yeah, I mean, I don't have a great response after bishop c2. At all. 
I could I could get this kind of these floating ponds. That might be interesting. Um, it would be different. That's for sure. Okay, so he keeps the tension. So now, um, I guess he wants to come into e3. Probably not g3, probably e3. To be annoying, you know, he's got a couple of points. So I could push, uh, which would uh, probably prompt him to go to c2. But I further kill my my bishop. So I don't want to push. I might just have to keep the tension myself. These pieces are terrible, though. Um, so what about knight f4? And then what? Hmm. I'm still looking at G five because you know if you go, I mean oh, oh maybe this is his plan maybe this is his plan yeah I mean no I, I can't allow G five maybe I go King G seven but then I take away that spot for my knight um this is tough the F five there was something there was a problem with that before and this this gives this this is too strong that's too strong for White uh, I don't have any good moves. I got no moves. I might just go here to start. Um, it's a weird move, but I, I have no time. Where did he go? Oh, I thought I heard him move. Yeah, so it's, it's, this is a weird move. I understand. But I just feel weird about blocking this, and maybe I can trade things off on the e-file. Yeah, he goes there as expected. I just I just have to play quicker. I mean just hope for the best. And then uh rook a d eight. You know. But I, I've got no plan here. But if he goes here, I can't play rook a e8 anymore. I guess I could. I was going to say because he's hitting f5 twice or f6 twice, but so I'm defending it twice even after I move the rook. Okay, yeah, that's... We have to bring up the king, I think. Safety first. And then I'll go rook a e8. Too dangerous, I think, with not time to calculate if he takes on g6. Oh, I wonder if I could have played... Uh, C4. He probably goes to F1. Well, 
Ooh, then I could go here. What if I, uh, could I go here first and then here? I, it's the same thing, really. But that's an idea. Bishop f1, knight f4, trying to get this anchor point. Bing, bang, boom, but he does get a move in between. I don't know how he stops my knight from coming in here, though, to d3. Oh, he might he might sack the exchange. Okay, I am going to push. I know it kills my bishop. I can no longer open things up, but um, I'm going to go with this plan. I guess he could break on b3. That's not necessarily that bad for me. I'll get an Isolani at the end, but then he has a weakness on c3. Okay, I'm back up on the clock. Well, I wonder if you play bishop g3. It shouldn't matter. Oh, what am I talking about? I can't go here. I am stupid as hell. <laughs> oh, well, I'm playing confidently. Maybe it's affecting him psychologically. Well, I don't know why I thought I could do this. I could if I played bishop a6, but what a waste of my bishop. Even then, I think that's kind of short-lived. I don't think I can hang on to that. I can't defend that bishop forever with just, I mean, that pawn forever with just my bishop. He does go there. Okay, so let's, uh, let's okay, let's do this little trade. I'm up a, a minute on the clock. And his bishop is kind of, he's going to have to play g6 at some point. Actually, this this almost wins my knight. <laughs> so I got to be careful that this knight doesn't get trapped. Then I need to improve this bishop. I might put it here. I mean, maybe I still go with that idea. It's that's a stupid idea though. I guess. Well, I don't want to play f five because this just this always becomes a potential issue. At some point, but it would allow my knight. I could go into here possibly. I guess. Yeah. Maybe I'll go here first just to get that sorted. Oh, I really want to play f5, though. I really do. I, it, yeah, there he goes. Okay, let, let's get this going. Really want to play f5. He, he might just go here because then there's an x-ray on this. Yeah. Um, F5 is so double-edged. Okay, welcome, welcome to E5. I'm letting you in. Welcome in. I just, I want these squares. I want them. Oh, look at this bishop. I'm very unhappy now. <laughs> All my pawns on light squares. At least I'm up on the clock. That's the only good thing I have going for me. And maybe he should move this knight just to get extra control over e5. I don't get that move. Hmm, I wonder what I'm missing.
if I can get them down to, well, 20 seconds, then I'll have him um, under some good time pressure. I still have chat minimized. Helps me focus. Here it goes back. He's going to get this lovely square. Okay, let's let's do as God intended and go into E4. I could almost uh, go rook E4 and, and sack the exchange just to get like, I mean, incredible control. But I, I, I Wow. So I wonder if I can take here. Can I sack the exchange? Because then it's queen's under attack. Okay, two sacks in a row. Did I play this right? He sacks his queen, I sack my rook. Come on. Who did it better? Who wore it better? <sighs> Feels good. I I could I maybe I might be missing something, but I think I outsacked him. I am the sack man. Sack your queen, I'll sack my rook. I like it. Every every second that passes is it's good news for me. Whoa. Okay. So how should I recapture? What's the knight, I think, because then I can contest this afterwards. Um, yeah. So he got good material out of it. Um, I'm not going to calculate if he got enough, though. I'm going to keep my knight where it is. But no, I, I have to improve my bishop, I mean. Am I just going to go here? That sucks. Everything sucks. Is he, I mean, he's going to double up. He's going to come here. So, um, I guess I could go here and then, no, no, no. I have to, I have to deal with this. I guess I have to do it this way. I, that's too slow. Oh God. Panicking. Panicking. How do I deal with this? I guess I could bring my king in. That's uncomfortable. I'm gonna do it. Here comes the king. Wait, that doesn't make sense. He still doubles up and I still don't get this. Um, I, I have to do this? Or can I do that last minute? Okay, whatever, I'm doing it now. God damn, this is uh, annoying. Okay, so I should be up basically a rook like uh, a queen for a rook i should that's what i should be okay and then i'll just go after this for now and hope he doesn't have stuff in in the meanwhile hang on he's got this though i might have to give him this square well i mean he's coming here right Okay, maybe, maybe I go this way and I just give that up. Oh, that's so ugly, though. That's so ugly. I, I think I'm going to lose. Like, I, I don't know what's going to happen, but it would be a shame to lose this game after I outsacked him. And those two rooks are very coordinated. They they really bother me. I don't even care about these pieces. 
And uh, where is he going next? I don't know. But I'm, I'm going to... Okay, there goes my queen. Like, I, I now I don't have a queen. You know, this worries me greatly. I wonder if at some point I give up my queen for one of its rooks. I would need to really improve my pawns. So. <laughs> no. This is this is uncomfortable. I guess I mean there's threats here. Well, ugh, his rooks. I I can't tell you how like they are. I'm I'm terrified of his rooks. Oh, he just dropped a rook. I'm not terrified about them anymore. Do a quick blunder check. Quick blunder check. But I will. Yeah. I don't know. He he just he he is under time pressure. Okay. We won. I'm going to open up chat. Ooh. Okay. I got chat open. Okay. I got worried near the end with those two rooks as they were. Um, but I'm happy. I mean, his queen sack scared me because I, I did not see that coming. But uh, I, I'm happy how quickly I was able to refute it. Thank you, none too smart. Just reading, just reading chat now. <clears throat> yeah, this was a 15 plus 15. Okay, let's take a quick look at my opponent's account. By the way, uh, I should mention, that's a new personal best. <laughs> oh, you, what? You saw the queen sack but missed my refutation? It was, I played it immediately after. I played it like 10 seconds after. But yeah, that, that's a new personal best. I It was my first classical game in, in two weeks. I peak sat for two weeks. And then I decided to just play one here because I've been playing so much blitz lately. That's a new personal best on classical, 21-13. Um, so yeah, just refresh this. Twenty-one thirteen, new per. I'm going to peak sit here again, probably like a month or something crazy. Um, yeah, and it already updated the graph. Let me go here. Twenty-one thirteen. I like it. Um, past three months graph. Past six months, months. Um, past year all time oh i i see yeah i mean it, my, the thing is like my move is not hard to it's not like a my move is very basic i what i'm happy about is that i i saw it quite quickly that's why i'm proud because I, I saw it within yeah i saw it i, I think I, about 10 seconds or, or less i don't think I spent too long on it, and I'm just kind of happy about that. Um, and it's just kind of cool to, I mean, it's pretty rare to immediately sacrifice um, after your opponent sacrifices the material. It's, it's pretty rare for that to happen, so that was just kind of cool. Um, okay, let's look at that game. So this is all pretty much normal, except he never played he never played c3 and bishop b2 is 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 a move. Normally, of course, you'll see it on on d3. He played a4, which took me a little while to get comfortable in how to reply. I've had issues when I played Blitz or Bullet before, where I play a5, <clears throat> and then after Bishop b5, I play c6, and then oh wait. I'm so stupid. When I was playing, for some reason, when I was looking at this, I thought I can't play c6 because he'll just take. <laughs> but 
I somehow in my mind his bishop turned into a knight. But at, yeah, at the end of the day, I did play a5 because I realized if he does play bishop b5, I can just take his bishop on uh, f4. And then, and then after he recaptures, then I can play c6. But uh, for some reason, I turned his, uh, his bishop into a knight. So that was embarrassing. Um, and this is my real mistake of the game. Uh, I played g6 here. As I said, normally the queen is on c2 and the bishop is on d3. So g6 blunts that diagonal, and it also does a bunch of other things. Um, but since he never did do that, g6 is not really optimal. And most notably, it allows bishop h6, which I think loses me a tempo or two. So at, at this point, I should, <clears throat> it's time to cash in. <clears throat> oh, sorry, my throat. I'm going to take a cough drop. My throat's going already. But at this point, I should have cashed in my chips and taken the bishop or castled. That's what I should have done. So instead, I played g6. Um, and since he's lower rated than me, I didn't want to... <clears throat> I wanted to fight for a win, so I didn't repeat. So I played f6. And But here, I think, I, I think black is worse a little bit. Too many concessions. Um... Yeah, I think white is better here. Yeah, and then, um, yeah, yeah. He, so he, I mean, he made a he made a, a few inaccuracies there, um, and then he did this this lovely queen sack which was good tactical vision for him. But it only works if he can follow up with the fork. So we remove that opportunity and now he's got two pieces under attack and uh, I'm currently up a knight for a pawn. Um, and he, he continued playing, which as I said, this was scary for me. But he was also under time pressure. But, I, you know, I get really scared. Yeah. So if he hadn't blundered here, I mean, obviously, black should just be completely winning. But it's still kind of scary to play. Although, yeah, maybe it's not so easy for him to... I mean, I'm probably scared here for no reason. But that's, that's how I roll. Yeah, because he, he doesn't really have a follow-up. It's just that it's easy to screw up. That's why it's scary, because, like... I make one little misstep here and I could just be losing or equal. So it's, it's, it's nervous. And I really didn't want to lose after the double sack. Okay. Let's look at.